China has announced a five-year plan for bigger cities and better public services. The goal is to support economic growth by allowing people to move for better jobs. It's called the National New Type Urbanization Plan. It was issued Sunday and calls for 60% of the country's 1.4 billion people to live in cities by the year 2020. That's a 6% increase from current levels. Officials say allowing workers to move to better paid city jobs is key to promoting growth and domestic consumption. Railway transportation is another target for reforms. Under the plan, cities with more than 200,000 people will be connected by the year 2020, and areas with more than half a million people will be linked together by high-speed rail. China announced last fall that it would be speeding up the reforms to the Hukou or housing system. That's a decades-old program that links individuals to areas which they were born in for the rest of their life. The aim is to help farmers become urban residents. Bianca Davy explains. Even before they're born, babies in China are assigned to what's called a hukou, or household registration system. And that placement can determine some pretty important parts of life. So your mother or father is from a small farming village. Well, historically, that is the town where you would have access to health care and you would be able to attend public school. Sure, your family could move to a more urban area like Shanghai or Beijing, but access to those basic services may cost your parents extra. Hukou system reform has been going on for several years now, especially in small townships where if a person can secure a job and buy a house there, he or she would have an easier path to local registration. But Chinese leaders are working to loosen some of the restrictions on a national scale. A lot of families are thrilled about new employment and educational opportunities that usually come with living in bigger cities. On the other hand, people already living in urban areas are worried about overcrowding and the impact a growing population will have on their lives. As part of the government's lawmaking session held last November, leaders agreed to give local authorities permission to consider new funding options like issuing bonds to help ease some of the financial pressures. Meanwhile, China watchers say in order for the reforms to be a true success, more regions of the massive country will need to be developed. Bianca Davy, CCTV.